Hello everybody, this is Jan Moray from Mental Fitness Now, here with you again. Today I want to talk to you about what is mental fitness. And mental fitness is what helps you to become cool, calm, and confident no matter what life throws your way and no matter how stressful the situation so you can learn to handle your emotions and to make your way through whatever is going on so so let's talk about that that today i i like to call myself a mental fitness trainer because i help people to become calm confident and collected and so today what i'm talking about is let's talk about the old brain and the new brain i'm sure you've all heard about the fight or flight response. So like when something happens, automatically we respond in a certain way and we and we're uncomfortable and we either want to fight uh, or or deny that anything is going on or we run away. We want to avoid the situation and never want to see it again. And so that's the old brain, also known you know, the amygdala is a big part of that. You know that that went, you know that wants us to to react. And then we've got the the new brain, which is the prefrontal cortex, the part that makes us human. And that's the one that helps us to stay logical and to make good decisions. But you know what? That part of the brain is, you know, just it takes too much energy for it to get involved in everything. So it kind of relies on the old brain to take care of the day-to-day activities. And so unless we engage the new brain, we end up just reacting to what's going on in, in life. And a lot of times that isn't, you know, isn't, isn't good for us. Like, for example, if somebody says something and then we feel this anger inside of us, you know, we're, we're angry and we feel like we need to act out on the anger and the anger. And we may say something mean, we may hit the person, who knows what we're going to do. But, but then in the long run, that's probably not good for us, especially if that person is important to us. And so we've got to engage the front part of our brain and, and to think about it. But thinking about it, it just takes up way too much energy. I mean, you, you think about when you're having to make, uh, when you're studying for a test, like when you're back in school and you're having to do a lot of studying, or if you have to make a lot of decisions, that's using the front part of your brain, you know, your new brain, and that is just so exhausting. And so that's difficult for, for you to keep doing that day to day. So that, so you're, the front part of your brain, the new brain relies on the old brain. You know, it says, okay, old brain, you, you just take care of things. And that's why a lot of things become habit for us. We're not really thinking about it. We just kind of do it. And that's our, that's our old brain working uh, for us. But a lot of times, you know, we're, we've just created the, these habits and created the way that we react to, to what's going on. In, in our lives. So let's, uh, so part of becoming mentally fit is to start engaging that new brain and start making, responding to things in the way that you really do want to respond. And not just because that's, that's kind of the way you've always done it. You got to take a look and say, well, do I really want to be that way? Am I, am I one of these people that, that overreacts and everything? And do I, do I really want to overreact? What do other people think when I'm when I'm acting that way and so it's like okay I, I need to to figure out some some other way to, to respond because when we overreact and then we start creating all this drama then everybody gets all upset and and th- there's all this wasted energy that's going on trying to do damage control and all that kind of thing so the whole thing about you know having mental fitness is is how, how do I really want to be and what's the really important thing in my life and so I'll, I'll give you an example. I, I had a post in my blog yesterday, and my blog is at uh, mentalfitnessnow.com. That's my website, and you can click on the blog. And it's about choosing to be happy. And for, you know, for example, on there, it's like if, um, like, let's say I like to go out on the weekends, and but my friends never call me. I'm the one that always has to do the calling. And so I'm thinking, well, well, how come they never call me? You know, they really don't like me. And maybe I'll block them or when they... Uh, say something, I'll make a nasty remark or something like that. But then you think about it and you're just like, well, you know, is that really going to make them want to be with me? So I got, I have to, uh, you know, maybe change my thought process. So instead of thinking that, you know, that they don't want to be with me, it's like, well, maybe they really prefer to stay home. And and I'm the one who wants to go out, so maybe I have to take the initiative. And yeah, it's a lot of work for me to do that, but I want to go out. And so if I change my mindset and said, well, they really do want to come with me, 
do things with me, but they just, they're just not the kind of people that go out all the time. And so I changed my mindset and then maybe I called them up and said, hey, I'm planning to go somewhere and if they wanna go, great. If they don't, that doesn't mean you gotta stay home. You can go and do it and do it yourself and maybe meet up with some new people and make some new friends and then you post on Facebook or somewhere about how much, what a great time you're having and then maybe next time your friends will be more likely to wanna go with you because they say, well, you know, she's having a good time so I wanna go have a good time with her. So a lot of it's about Changing your mindset, don't get stuck in those beliefs that hold you back and, and create that anger inside of you. Um, say, well, what, what can I do differently and how can I make my life better and happier? So stay tuned for another episode, maybe tomorrow, and I'll try to keep letting you know about what mental fitness is and um, love to have you follow me. Thank you. Bye-bye.